is Bella from Complete Essential Oils. Uh, what I want to do today is show you a soap that I made using red sandalwood powder. Um, and this is a hot process soap. And the reason I want to show it to you is because what we, I have seen online right now has been in the oven process or in the cold process. And I want to show you the colors, how they vary in the different methods of using this. So I'm going to be getting my soap, and I'll be right back. This is the soap. I'm going to be taking it out of the mold. And you can see that this is corrugated plastic, and it's got some paper to it. We're going to see that's easier for us. So we're going to go, okay, as I mentioned, this is a high process soap. I'm just pulling the paper down and it's coming out really nice. Very easy. Okay, we got we got all this out. The soap is a hot process, very moist. This particular one is sandalwood. Uh, the fragrances are Egyptian oil, Egyptian musk, uh, amber, and sandalwood. It has been super fatted with shea butter and hemp seed oil. Okay, so I'm going to be flipping this over. You saw how easy it came out. So, very pleased with that. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the soap cutter. The soap is kind of big. So... Okay, we need to position it. And I need to hold it at the end because it's very long. So here we go. The soap is still very moist. And this is the soap. I'm trying to get it so you can see it better with the light. Well, goodness gracious. Sometimes we just have to pick up the camera so you can see it. The dark little lines are like pencil lines and that is the, the red sandalwood it has been colored with sandalwood. One of the reasons I wanted you to see this is because right here, as you can tell, it's kind of like a, a grayish, a grayish color. And here is the soap. What you see are some uh, pencil lines in it and that's um, red sandalwood powder and the reason I wanted to do this and to video it is to show you the different looks of the same powder the same red sandalwood powder as you can see on the top for those of you that are familiar with it that's it right there this is cold process just not even stuck in the oven just cold process this is hot process 
and this is melt and pour. And you can see how the colors vary with each one. I'm trying to get you in the light here so you can see, get a better look at it. That's melt and pour. And this one is your cold process. I mean, excuse me. This is your hot process. And this one is your cold process. Hot process. Now, I want to compare this color to um, another soap that we make. Now, this is what I want to compare it to. This is alkanite root. And this is a red sandalwood hot process, oven process. Just wanted you to see the colors, see how they vary. Now that we've had a chance to look at the soaps and we've had a chance to look at the hot process soap, um, I'm really glad I got a chance to do this to show you. Um, I saw this. Um, red sandalwood powder done in an oven process and I like the color very much. The lady that did it did it in um, the what you call the blonde uh, sandalwood and she did it in the red sandalwood and it was very very pretty. It does, uh, I see that it does change, colors do change with the hot process. Uh, this particular one is an oven process and it will keep getting lighter and this will show a little bit more intense and that's because it's oven process. The hot process, pretty much what you get is pretty much what's going to stay. It might get a little bit lighter, but not much, depending on your oils. We use um, we do Castile soaps, and so the olive oil tends to turn a little bit lighter. Uh, as I said, I was excited. I hurried on down from work and wanted to cut my soaps and see what I had. Now you all get a chance to see what hot process red sandalwood looks like. Thank you all and have such a great day.